Okay, new species, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that thing! Wow, that is bizarre! It's kind of like a caterpillar, slug, deer, frog, thresher shark thingy. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to do a bunch of different things. Um, so, first of all, um, they just came out with a new update uh, for the game here, and they're calling it the Explosive Update. And apparently we have explosives that we can now use to uh, get into uh, areas that are blocked. Um, there's a new biome called the Red Falls, I think. There's some new secrets. A um, little bit of game optimizations and um, new uh, animal species and some other cool things like that. So, yeah, that's <laughs> that's just awesome that they keep adding on to the game. So I think my plan, you know, for this series is to just keep going with it. You know, um, I've, I've obviously slowed down. Uh, I'm not doing daily videos on it anymore, but, you know, there's no rush, you know. And so we'll just uh, we'll just keep having fun with it. And um, did I do golden butterflies you know what i don't think we did we i don't think we ever set up our golden butterflies from two episodes ago but yeah we're just keep having fun with it and you know and uh rolling rolling with the flow uh okay so i missed some golden frogs that you guys said in the comments um we are going to go ahead and start a new animal species uh because i was told that the the two you know color traits that i keep looking for are very rare so I think we'll just go ahead and, and make our make our own. Um, there's also, I guess, there's also supposed to be animal food now, specific to animals. Oh, look at this, an ecosystem. Oh wow, I didn't, haven't even looked in here yet. This produces larva and increased plants level. Wow, that's neat. Okay, let's pin that. Uh, we we'll make it, and um. Anything else in here that's new? Oh, you guys told me if I take cookies and uh, take them apart in the deconstructor, then I'll get all of the ingredients that we've been kind of waiting for. So let's let's see what happens with that. All right. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so now if we go over here and we make a cookie in the kitchen. All right, so we've made it in the kitchen. Does that now mean that it's available as a a commodity? Um, so let's go here. I mean, it's a, a, a available for the drones, I should say, to be able to get. So, okay, so if we supply... Yep, there it is. Okay, nice. So now we can supply cookies. And get that going again. All right, cool. That's just weird, though, that it does it that way. Show, man, Fred, are you getting even bigger, dude? <laughs> what did he give us? Uh, he, gave, he gave us a, a genetic trait. Okay. Um, that's funny. Okay, so you now also want, uh, I want you to demand cookies, too. All right, good. So that takes care of that. Um, you also told me I can set up drones to keep the feeder going, so... Let's have you demand uh, mushrooms, squash, and eggplant. Because those are the three things that I'm growing over here specifically for the feeder. And we need to also set these as suppliers because I don't believe that I did that. So supply eggplant. Supply squash. Uh, mushrooms. And uh, you can also do mushrooms. There we go. Okay, so the drones should now 
help keep uh, everything going in terms of the animal feeder. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a new critter next. Um, so I'm going to put this trade in here. Um, I did, I don't know if I did that, found this on camera or off camera, but I did find this um, genetic trait, uh, color B trait somewhere. I don't remember where I found it, but I did find it. And so we have that um, going. So all we need to do is we need to make a color A trait. Um, all right, so that means... I think we... Did we get that from... Yeah, we get that from Larva. Okay. Um, so Frank is kind of green and bluish. Well, is he? Where's he at? Greenish blue. There goes our rocket. All right, Frank, where'd you go? He was just here a second ago. <laughs> He's too damn big to lose. How could we possibly lose him? He needs he needs a oh there he is. He needs a companion. So he's kind of green and white, green, white, gray, silverish um color. Okay. So we want to see if we can do something a little bit different than that. Sorry, my nose is a little sniffly today. Um, seasonal allergies. Um, so why don't we see if we can do maybe a red, um, an impaleo butterfly larva. We can maybe do a red. <laughs> you know, lean towards a, a reddish type of look or maybe even a bluish as abstraeus butterfly larva. Um, all right, tell you what, let's go back to, um, actually let's go to the waterfall. Well, no, let's go back to the main base first. Um, and I have a couple more things I actually need to put away. And my overflow chest is completely overflowing now, as is everything else. I know I'm like completely disorganized. At some point, you know, I, I think I am going to take the time and effort and resources to upgrade all of these, you know, to the big storage. I mean, why the hell not? Especially if if we're going to be doing this for the long term, which that is the plan at this point. Um, So... But I, you know, I, obviously I would do that off camera. That's not something I'm going to record because that will get boring after a while. There's a, a handful of you that actually like to watch that stuff, but the majority of you don't. And I don't blame you because I wouldn't want to watch. I, I don't mind watching a little bit of inventory management, you know, to see how people do things kind of idea. But it's not something I would want to watch a lot of. So I completely get that. Uh, all right. Anyway, so we don't need to carry around this much o2 now that i know um you know we should probably keep a maybe a couple of those well let's keep like maybe three of those with us because we you know we know that that dive is now not under the water for too long amido frog eggs can oh can we get color from those well i don't know do i want to use that though amido frog eggs is uh is that something we could make later if we wanted to for some reason yeah we could make those later if we wanted to for some reason okay um but we also wanted to maybe go with a red color for our other trait um you know you, you did tell me in the comments that there is a a butterfly larva that I missed in the mushroom biome and uh, I don't know what color that would be but maybe we should go oh yeah let's make this first I, I, I just want to see how big it is kind of what it looks like it's supposed to generate larva for us um, so let's see we need a common and we need a tier 2 mutie we need a bacteria all of that stuff I have in overflow I should be pulling it out of there, but uh, I'm not worried about it right now. We need an algae and a tier two furt, which is over here. Okay, yeah, let's build this thing first. Um, you know, this may be something too that we'll we'll end up building a lot of them. 
How about if we stick it over in this area here? Oh, wow, that's kind of neat looking, isn't it? Okay. Whoops. <laughs> open, open ecosystem. So is this just going to automatically generate larva? I get, I guess so. Unless there's an, is there an input? Can I drink from this water? Uh, no, you can't. <laughs> All right, I guess it just, uh, it, I guess it just automatically does that. Um, and the description says produces larvas and increases plant levels. So I guess it's just going to do that automatically. So we'll come back and check it later. Um, this is actually probably something we would want to build over, you know, by the, where the, where the critters are. Well, not necessarily. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So let's grab a, 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 a couple of waters actually. And, um, we have our cookie. Yeah. Let's just eat that right now too. That gives us some extra run speed. I may, um. Let's take one extra of these with us. I might actually keep make a bunch of cookies to actually use just because it does give us that run buff. Uh, all right, I want to do an amphibian farm, so I need a furt and a common, and we're going to need another water too, so let's just grab it right now. Do I have any fertilizer in here? Um, Wait, a furt. Hold on. Let's um, unpin this. Oh, common larva, right. Okay. I have any larva in there. Yeah, I will eventually get my life organized here because I don't like disorganization. It drives me nuts. I wouldn't worry about it so much if we were, you know, if my intent was to end the series pretty soon, but I don't think we will. I think we'll just keep it going. That's going to be a slow burn. Oh, look, we got these. There's our golden butterflies. We need to get these guys going too. Um, Yeah, let's grab both of those. Um, I'm going to, all right. Well, you know what? Jesus, 1200%. We need to get that going on principle. <laughs> That's almost as good as the goldens. <laughs> that could make an interesting colored critter, huh? But I, I still think I want to try and find the, um, that other larva just to do it, you know? Um, so let's go over here. Come on by this water and we'll put down the amphibian oh geez I forgot to get the fertilizer can't take me anywhere all right let's do put this amphibian farm down here and we'll put these amido frog eggs in oh look at them they're kind of interesting color <laughs> Okay, that takes care of that. I wonder if this cookie is affecting my jetpack speed because I am really cruising fast. I bet you it is. Uh, all right, so we need to do... We need to make three butterfly thingies. Um, and of course, we want the tier two. So let's pin those, unpin that, and gather up all the stuff we need to, to make those. So... Um, do you have cloth? Yeah. You happen to have four pieces, which is exactly what we need to make. No, actually, we need... We need six pieces, right? Because we're going to make three in total. All right, let's grab three of these. Let's grab three of these. You are being supplied, right? Or demanding those? Okay. <laughs> you know what, though? I don't think I have anything making bioplastic. I think... I was having this do it. In fact, yeah, let's... Okay, well, there's one of our cloth. Is there enough to make another one? Perfect. Okay, let's stop this. And let's switch you to bioplastic for a while. And the drones will fill this back up. Our explosives is full. Gas is full. Fertilizers. Yeah, that one's... Um, At some point, too, again, I'll probably do a fertilizer 2 plant over by the waterfall. Um, okay. 
So that should give us everything except for the zeolite to make three butter of the tier two butterfly farms. Uh, I got some tokens there. And do I have any zeo in overflow? I got one there. None there. Oh, I want to take... Where did that go? I want to take this over to the animal farm. No zeos in there. What about in here? One there, and then... Oh, um... We can use this now because they added a new blueprint item. Let's grab that and do it. Space suit displayer. Oh, right. Yeah, we have we have new skins that we can find. And that's just kind of like an armor rack, I, I, I guess, which is cute. cool. All right, I think we have everything we need to make the butterflies thingies. So let's go out to here and we'll put this butterfly farm down and we will put one of the goldens oh we can put twos oh yeah 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 huh. uh all right you know what though let's pretty uh let's do the other one then at the food farm but since we have some extra we have this extra butterfly anyway let's put it in here Colorful. Colorful. Okay. Let's run back to the food farm. I want to put the... This extra uh, genetic trait in here. And yeah, we don't have any, any color, color traits. That's what we're, what we're needing. Uh, I think what we'll do is let's grab both of these out of here. Well, we'll put those two back in. So we could we could actually just use this for the because I because we kind of wanted to go for a red this time. Oh wait, I thought that was supposed to give us a color trait, like a color A trait. That's a skin pattern. What the hell? Oh, okay. So not all larvas. Okay. I see what's happening here. Some of them give skin patterns. That's interesting. Okay. Well, what is this? What is this one again? This is a Serena. And that's a skin pattern too, but I don't want to, I don't want to waste a 1200% larva on that. I'd rather have them, you know, be doing stuff for us. So how about if we set the other... Uh, thingy down here. Maybe right there. And uh, we'll have to we'll have to get some more butterflies in there later. Okay, so let's head over to the waterfall. And we're going to I got a thing of food on me, right? Yeah, okay. Let's just, uh, I'm going to cruise around the mushroom biome and see if I can find this other larva. I'm not going to show all of that on camera, but I'll show it to you once I find it. But I was, I was basically, in the comments said not to fly around, to walk around, and then I would find it. All right, so I'm going to just start here kind of on the island and start walking around and see if I find a new butterfly larva. I'll bring you back once I find it, or if I don't find it, I don't want to spend, you know, 10 million years looking for it either. Oh, well, <laughs> future butterfly larva. That didn't take long at all. Uh, here, might as well grab that too. Interesting. Okay, it's an 800% multiplier. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that did not take long at all. Mission accomplished there. While we're in the area, though... Why don't we go back to the Cenote? Well, sort of kind of in the area. Oh, by the way, speaking of the Cenote and the Southwest build location, uh, most of you voted for the Southwest location, um, which pleases me because that's kind of where I wanted to do it too. But let's uh, head back to the Cenote for a second. 
Um, is there something down here that I needed to grab for some reason? Oh, golden frogs. Wait, what? That's a generic frog egg. That is a golden frog, right? What the hell is that? Oh, this is new? Okay, so this must be this must be part of the new content that they've added. I don't ever remember this being here before. So cool. Alright. Well, we'll start looking around for that kind of thing. So we happen to have golden frogs down here. I just uh and butterflies too, right? Did I not just see a golden butterfly? Yeah, right there. Okay. Is that are they just kind of here naturally though, or and then they have some eggs we can grab. Because this is just the normal generic stuff. I'm going to say they're probably just here naturally. Generic. It's neat that they're down here, though. Yeah, that's, that's right. They do... They do kind of spawn and start spawning in the world on their own too. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and head up to the Cenote, which is probably up this way, I guess. Kind of hard to tell. We want to go. I think we want to go this way. Oh crap! I went the wrong way. All right, it's the one that's in the center of the wall, not the one that's in the corner. Also, to the north. All right, so there's supposed to be another golden frog egg in here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't use my jetpack. <laughs> All right, so let's look over here first. Uh, oh. There it is. Okay. Man, I've just been uh, batting a thousand today. I'm going directly to where I need to go. Is there anything back here? Uh-uh. Nice. Um, trying to remember if you guys said there was something else I needed to do in this room. Hold on, let me take a quick look at the comments. All right, so yeah, um, you guys just told me there was there was two eggs in total in here, and we grabbed the first one <coughs> the first time we came through. Um, but I was told also by you guys that that golden chest that I thought was out on one of those islands in the ocean um, was moved to the new uh, waterfall area. So we'll find it somewhere over there. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else comments wise to update you guys on. Um, somebody seemed to, to imply that I mentioned the wardens were heartless, but I don't remember saying that. <laughs> um, so, you know, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And then most of the rest of the comments were about, you know, whether or not to do the southwest uh, or the northeast uh, build location. Only one person suggested the, the northeast, and that's you know, that, that's even um, was if I was going to not keep the series going. But uh, since, you know, that is the plan at this point, you know, to keep it going, I think southwest is where we'll go. That's not to say we still couldn't put something up at the northwest area either, or the northeast area. I mean, you know, sky's the limit, right? We can do whatever we want. But uh, I think we'll start our actual home home in that new area because it's just so gorgeous, you know. All right, so let's get back out of here. And then um, go, yeah, let's go make our, our new animal next. I think that's what we'll do next. 
Oh, they also made um, some improvements to procedural wrecks, and they added... Is it two more, maybe? Um, wrecks to the main map. You don't even have to go through the portal. So we'll be on the lookout for those. And that, you know, that being said, we never actually did all of the wrecks anyway. Um, so we should do that, if for no other reason, so we can get the bank, you know, to buy some, some more of their cool stuff in the shop. Tell you what I'm going to do is, since it's pretty much decided that we're going to live over here. God, this is beautiful. <laughs> I love this so much, you guys. Um, is the, is the chest in here? I want to know where the chest is, just, just for the hell of it. Um, why don't we put our teleporter over here? Since, uh, you know, since we're going to be coming back here to do our build. We're not going to do that in this episode. I, I know I had kind of tentatively planned that, but I wasn't expecting, you know, a new update to come out. And also we had, you know, some of these other things we had to, to do from the comments. So we'll tentatively plan to start the build in the next episode. Um, what we're going to do for the rest of this episode is get our critter made and then... I might, uh, let, let's see if we can find that new biome, because I would like to take a look at it, too. Uh, in terms of where I actually build, I'm going to have to really give that some thought, because there's just some amazing places. You know, there's more than one possibility here, of course. Um, so, yeah, we'll just have to give that some thought. Let's, uh, let's put this down. And we're going to just call this, um, um, I don't even know what this region's called. So we're just going to call call it Southwest. Uh, how about Southwest Falls? Yeah. Because we have a limited number of uh, characters that we can use there. And then, I mean, even right here would be, well, maybe not right here, but somewhere around over in here. Uh, I'll just have to do kind of like a survey. I, I do think, though... I do think I would like a pretty decent view of the ocean, too. So it might make sense for us to... Oh, that I never noticed that before. We could maybe build more down here. Um, so that way, you know, we can look out over the ocean, but then we have all of these waterfalls too. you know, the view for that. And we could use like foundations and have like a multi-tiered kind of setup too. Um, and let's see. Yeah. The, the, the glass domed house, that was a blueprint. And so now we can make as many of those as we want. You know, it only costs us the 25000 just the first time around. I mean, this view right here is just amazing in and of itself. You know, we'd, you know, we'd be up a little higher, kind of above these flowers a bit. And um, a, a space suit abysso. All right, so that's one of the new... Spacesuit costumes. How do we how do we use it? Left oh left click to equip. Left click to equip. I'm left clicking. Nothing's oh, happening. Left. So my other left. Do I what the hell? Oh, I guess I have it on. Wait, do I? Hold on. No, I don't have it on. Left click to equip. I am left clicking on my mouse, the left button. I'm double clicking. I'm right clicking. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, 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 oh. It, I bet you it needs to be in one of these slots, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. We don't really need the map chip. There we go. Okay. Well, that's cool. I, I think, 
I think that's like a water, like the abyss pattern, I think. Not sure about that, though. Huh. Oh, whoops. Accidentally tabbed out. Didn't mean to. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Construction menu filter. Yeah, I like that. Definitely need that. I I want to I actually want to replace this back for a T1 just so I can erase the other one, but that doesn't help us out because you know we don't get the slot back. Um, we want the compass. We want the mining speed. We want the torch. Yeah, that's a. Uh, if I go into here, you know, I if we had a search option. Like I could just, you know, start typing some letters in to look for something specific. Then I, I wouldn't mind getting rid of this. But since we don't have that option, I think, you know, just the, the map is the least most important thing to me. Okay. I wish we could deconstruct this, man. But that's just going to have to stay there. All right, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll be on the lookout for the golden chest over here. It's not. Um... Oh, is it going to be back over here? <laughs> I can't drink any of this water. I guess it's too shallow, maybe. Oh no, it's because I got the deconstructor on. That's why. Yeah, we'll we'll look for the golden chest later. It's not. Uh... You know, we'll eventually come across it, especially if we're going to start living in this area. So let's head back to our teleporter. Um, you know, something else I was thinking, especially now that our planet is damn near fully terraformed. I mean, geologically speaking, it is. Um, the only thing we're missing is animals. Um, so I was just wondering if there was a way that I could turn off the or turn down the storms I, I might not be able to do that um unless it's something we can do here let's actually l log out for a minute and go to options uh no sorry go to play and go to these options cut uh here yeah all right I just want to turn down the storms because they're completely useless to us now. I mean, we don't need really any of the resources that, that they they bring. It's not that we couldn't use them, but they're just not essential anymore. So, oh shit, it's not letting me do it. Higher volume increase. Oh man, really? Yeah, it's not letting me adjust it. I guess once you lock that stuff in, that's the way the game is, unless there's some you know, admin hack or something. If you guys know of a way for me to adjust that, let me know uh, because it's just not fun anymore. It's not necessary. It's not fun. It's just a pain in the ass. I mean, not the end of the world either, but you know, okay, let's get back into the game. Oh, I guess, the, oh, I forgot to save. So this, <laughs> this was the last place we saved. Okay. I'll tell you what, I will meet you guys back at the food farm and we'll make our new animal. After I put the, the teleporter back down again. Oh, and I guess... I guess we need to reloot that satellite now too, don't we? All right, so we still have the the same spacesuit as before, the Abyssal. All right, there we go. Uh, okay. Now let's actually save the game this time. <laughs> All right, so we can't use the Futura larva that we found in the mushroom biome because it's a skin pattern. So it has to be one of these here. Um, and since we wanted to go with kind of a red themed, let's either do the 
Amel or the Imp Impalio. Um, I like the. This is a little a little more vibrant red than this one is. Oh wait a second though. Hold on. Uh, I'm looking at the little hexagon thingy now. What's your little skin pattern? The azure is a blue. That's too much of a greenish blue, too close to Fred's actual color. Yeah, okay, let's let's go with the Empolio because this doesn't look red at all. This looks gray. If you look at the little hexagon, you know, thing in the lower right hand corner. So let's go with an Empolio. That was weird. <laughs> it made a weird noise. Um, okay, so do, 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 go up here to make an Impolio. Oh shit, I don't have an Impolio option. Um, all right. Well, we got to find one that we can make. That's a that's going to be a brown color. That's going to be the bluish green color. The Fencia. And the Oni Azure. Can I do the Azure? I can't. I can't pin these, can I? No. Alright, let's try the Azure. Yes, we can make the Azure. Okay, so we need a common, a regular mute, and a regular furt. Uh, we have a common there already. Uh, just a normal mutagen. Hopefully it, it'll actually make that though, because it's not a guarantee. Oh, I guess I already had a mutagen. All right, let's see what we get. Nope, we got a Galexa. Let's see if that one will work though. It might. Um, I just had another thought too. I don't remember what my thought was. Hmm. All right, let's see if this one will work. I wasn't looking for this one specifically, so it might work. Alexa. Yeah, but it gives us the color that's, you know, kind of close to, to Fred. Um, I don't think, can we make this fin C? That would be more of a yellow. Yeah, you know what? Let's just, let's just go with this one. All right. Man, both of those colors are exactly the same, though. That's color A, that's color B. And I don't like that. Okay. This is this is more complicated than it first appears. <laughs> um, let's have a food there. Can we also do color bees from, oh, right. We can do color bees from fish eggs. Okay. That's, that's the thing that I was in my brain that I was like trying to figure, remember. Okay. So we have five different types of fish eggs that we can do colors with. And the Guerrero is blue and the Yulani is purple. Don't think I'm interested in the other ones. Those are all skin patterns. So let's see if we can either do a Guerrero or a Yulani fish egg. There's an Ikaru. All right. Um, there's the Guerrero there. Okay, so we need a Phytoplankton B, a Tier 3 Mute, and a Furt. Uh, 
see, tier three mutagen, which is this. And a phytoplankton B, which is this. Okay. Right for the Guerrero. Yes. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, good. So we got our Guerrero fish eggs. Uh, I also want to let's see. I think we have an extra slot that we can put the Futura in down at the animal farm. Uh, but we need to make another amphibian farm for these other frog eggs. So we need normal fur, normal uh, larva. All right. Let's uh, drink one of those and grab an extra one. And back to the food farm. All right, and then we'll put you in there. There we go. We got a blue, yeah, blue color B. All right. Okay, hold on. Now put the B there. And this is an A, right? Yeah. Put all of that stuff in there too. Okay, here we go. Do we have room in here? Yeah. I was going to say, we should have room in there. Oh, wow. Look at those. Pretty. I like the bioluminescence. Uh, all right. Time for a new critter. Hey, he looks just like Fred. Just different colors. Oh, you know what? I think I... I it's species three, isn't it? Damn it, Jim. I should have used a different species. Oh, well. It'll be a mate for Fred. Next time I'll pay more attention to that. Hey, we we got that color trait back, though. That doesn't suck. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, do I... What, are, what do I have? I wanted a new species. Completely not paying attention. Story of my fucking life, man. All right, so... That's species... Three. That's what you guys are, right? Species three. Uh, you're so damn big. Yeah, species three. Okay, we can't use species three. Um. Okay. So I have a species. F no, that's a variant. That's a variant. So, so all I have are species threes. All right. So to make a different species, species one, two, three. I thought we were supposed to have a new species. I still only see three options here for a species. Unless it was like a new variant. Okay. So let's do, uh, let's do a species one now. And then the next one we'll do, we'll do a species two. So we're going to need a bee larva for that. Yeah. Darn, darn it. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well, like I said, Frank needed a mate anyways. That's my, my justification for my flub up there. Um, let's grab a bee larva. Oh shit. We have a whole bunch of bee larvas over here. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> we have, we're like throwing them in the trash. We have so many of them. Let's go back to the food farm. Um, yeah, look at all those bee larvae. Okay, so let's put you there. Um, and then, yeah, here, let's just do this one. Okay, we got a species one, and we'll put the color there. Okay, what else do we already have here? Um, this was a, a variant. What's... What's your guys' variant number? Though it probably doesn't matter on a different, a completely different species. Um, your variant is one. Okay. And your variant is also one. Okay. 
So let's just not use uh, one. Let's use variant. We have four or, uh, yeah, four or five. All right, let's just go with four. All right, what else do we have? Um, we have a bioluminescence eight and a bioluminescence nine. A size four and a, a skin pattern two. Let's put those in. All right, so we just need a skin pattern color and a color A color. That's a color B color. We did the skin pattern. We just didn't do the skin pattern color, right? Yeah. So we need to do a skin pattern color. Okay. So I need to make a a color A and a skin pattern color. What do we need for skin pattern colors? I think they're... Yeah, they're frog eggs. Ooh. Can I make Traju frog eggs? I like that dark blue. What do I have in here for frog eggs? I just have generic. Okay. Yes, I can. I need generic, tier 4, mutagen, and fertilizer. There's a generic, tier 4, muti. And I already have the fertilizer. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have to put our golden frog eggs down, don't we? Is that what I needed was a common... You for, no, frog eggs, tier four, and furt. Frog eggs, tier four, and furt. I think that other fertilizer was supposed to be for our other frog pond thingy. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go put this down. Now, some of this stuff, you know, that I'm setting up over here, we may move to our new location later. We'll see. Golden frogs, baby. Nice. Okay. I really like these butterflies that we found in the mushroom biome. So cool looking. Hey, he just gave us a... He gave us a skin pattern color, but I don't like the color. You gave us a... Oh, is it a color A what we needed or a color B? We need a color A. Well, there we go. We got it. Okay. So, so I guess it'll be maybe a white with blue light blue offset and if we make those frog eggs it'll be a dark blue skin pattern I think that's right now I made the wrong damn one son of a bitch all right let's go see what these strabo ones look like they might work Okay, it's kind of a greenish yellow. Let's just do it. Okay, new species, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that thing! Wow! 
That is bizarre. It's kind of like a caterpillar slug deer frog thresher shark thingy. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Okay. He just gave us a, um, a size trait. Okay. Well, there's our new creature. What should we name it? You know, we, it even has like kind of a hammerhead style head and it can glitch right through roots. How about that? I can't, I like the coloring though. I think the coloring's awesome. That's bizarre. All right. So you guys tell me in the comments what we should name this thing. I'm going to completely leave it up to you as to what we, what we should name this thing. That is so weird, man. It's cool, though. It's weird in a good way. Uh, and completely unexpected. I mean, Frank was sort of kind of what I was expecting. A little bit. I mean, at least it's, you know, it's like a, a four-legged mammal type creature. Sort of kind of like a deer, I guess. But this is, like, just bizarre. Hey, where did he go? Oh, he's right here. He blends in really well with the surroundings. Okay, yeah, you guys tell me in the comments what you want to name that thing. And that's what we'll name it. But it's got to be a good name, though. Don't don't come up with anything goofy like Fred, because that's terrible. Who would name a new alien creature Fred? What's the world coming to these days? Uh, all right, so let's chow down on a piece of food there. Um, The last thing I want to do in this episode is I want to see if we can locate this new biome. Let's go back to the canyon base. And look at our map. Which, by the way, we can now use the arrow keys to pan, which is another update uh, that they did, which is amazing. All right, so let's see here. We pan all the way to the northwest. I don't really see anything there that looks new. This is the new waterfall southwest falls area hmm that's the waterfall itself the sulfur biome the sand falls the arches place this is all the ice lands oh it's up here Okay, so it's up to the northeast. Interesting. Okay, how do we get there? Hmm. Okay. Well, we know where it's at. So, let's see. We got water. Let's grab some extra food. And I think I will, again, take enough stuff to make a teleporter in case we want to you know, leave one there. Uh, I think I need an iridium rod. Okay, what else do I need? We need an obsidian. And a zeolite. All right, let's go see if we can... I didn't leave a teleporter by the Stargate, did I? No, I, I had at one point, but I think I picked it up. So it's, it's up that way. Um, let's see if there's a way to get up there from over here. I see something over there that looks different. Yeah, whatever that thing is there, that was not there before. Okay, so this is probably, yep, we got to blow that up with the new explosives. And then my guess is that that's probably a passageway to the new biome, I think. It might, maybe not though, that could just be like some kind of secret area. So let's, is this new? I don't ever remember seeing this cave before. 
Okay, there's another blockage there. Thousand tokens. Okay. So we need to make some explosives, guys. Interesting. That's sulfur. I'm assuming we probably make that in the, the bio lab. And I'm sure it's going to take explosive powder because, I mean, you know, it makes sense, right? Let's go check that out real quick. Oh, there's the animal food. Animals fed with this have an augmented production. So that's a 200% multiplier and a restored health. Why would animals... Oh, do they take damage? Hmm. All right, that's cool. Uh, but anyway, I don't see... Unexplosive thingy in there. Um, let's look on the other crafting benches. This one, maybe? No. What about this one? This wouldn't make sense because this is all stuff that you just put in your your slots. Do we have to learn it from a blueprint? Oh, baby, that's what it is. Maybe we have to find some more blueprint chips. I don't believe I don't have any extra ones of those. I don't think I do. Do I? We were talking about in the last episode. We had an extra one and I was trying to recycle it and it, it wouldn't do that. I was talking about maybe just trashing them, but then I don't think I did, though, because I think I said we might need these in the future, and here we are now, right? All right, well, I guess we're going to have to wait until we find a new uh, a new microchip. Because it's not, it's not apparent to me how we make this explosive. And it's probably because we need to learn it from a blueprint, would be my guess. Okay, well, let's let's head over to the Stargate and see if you know if there is a way still to get into that new biome. And if there isn't, if it's not obvious to me, then my guess is we gotta blow up those, you know, that blockage to get to it. Okay, no, here is a, a passage. Oh, but it's, yeah, it's got more shit that we gotta blow up. This is new, though. All right, fair enough. Well, we have, somewhere on this map, there are at least two, maybe three new wrecks. And we haven't actually gone through all of the wrecks, the original ones, either. Um, I don't think we did the one, oh, that is still there. Stargate Temp. Oh, okay. Um, pretty sure we've done everything in here. Look how much nicer this Tier 4 light is. Or Tier 3 light, rather. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've done everything we could possibly do in here. So, we need what we need to do is we need to find those new wrecks. And I know that um, in the Arches biome, that's just over above the Sandfalls, uh, I never did that wreck at all. And I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's go to the waterfall. Um, I want to go see if I ever looted the ship that's over here on the other side of the falls. I don't remember doing it. I might have, I just don't remember. Because we, we need to find um, another microchip. We did the lava ship. We did... Did I do the bunkers in the crater? I did on multiplayer, but I don't know if I've done those yet either. So that's something we could look at. Um, what am I? Wait, where am I going? Going the wrong way. Is this different out here? I think this is different, you guys. I don't remember these big pillars here. Yeah, this is definitely different.
awesome. Okay, so the wreck that I'm talking about is this one over here. I may have... I, you see, the thing is, is I, I, I did everything in Season 1, of course. And then we have our multiplayer series going. And... It's just hard to remember. Oh, this is new too. I don't think this water was here. I mean, it was, but it wasn't this. I don't think it was this high. Or was it? Maybe it was. I don't know. <laughs> it just looks different. Like these little kind of square pillar things sticking up. I don't think all of those were there, especially not those ones over there. Pretty positive they weren't. Anyway, did we go in, in here and loot this place? I don't remember. Let's just run in here real quick. It's quite possible that we did and I just forgot it, but... Look at that. Okay. It is very unlikely I would have left that crate there had we done this earlier. No, we never did the ship. Okay, that's awesome. So that gives us um, some more microchips. Let's, um, uh, let's see if we can find one or two more microchips. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... I'll take the skin pattern trait in the tier two muti. I think I'm going to leave the rest of that in there for now. But I'm what I really want right now more than anything else is microchips. Well, I'll definitely take circuit boards too. Absolutely, we'll take those. That door probably opens up with the fusion cores. I'm going to guess. Yeah. Okay. So we'll we'll worry about that later. Um, oh, these are different. A space suit. Oh, look at that. Fablo. Nice. Okay, we'll take that. Um, let's put the iron in here. We'll take the tier fours. And I guess we'll take those. I don't want any of that stuff. It's kind of funny because this is usually one of the ships you do fairly early on, and I just never, never got around to it. Five hundred thousand Terra tokens. I'd like those tier two mutes. Um, let's eat that food. These kind of lower level flowers, just I don't give a shit about those so much. So let's take those. We'll take this. A rim of plants. Those are sort of kind of rare. Okay, here we go. Nice. Let's uh, break this down just so I don't come back there later thinking it might be there. We got another spacesuit thingy too. Sipto and... Okay, we already have Fob... Uh, what is it? Foblo? All right, let's take Sipto. I'm going to leave that there. So that gives us two microchips we can check out. Um, well, I'm I'm just gonna have to come back here. I mean, there's there's a whole lot more to this ship. We're just in the kind of the front part, and we don't have room for everything, and we're running out of time in this episode anyway. So we'll come back and hit this later. But let's go see if these two chips that we do have will get us. Um, the explosives. All right, here we go. Aha! New blueprint received. Explosive. Man, freaking tastic. Can we do another one? Nope, that's it. Okay. Good. So that worked out pretty good. Um, I'm going to start putting stuff in the staging. And let's definitely keep these because, you know, more updates later on, right? How about if we try... Let's try this... Yeah, let's go outside. Let's try the... This one. Eh, that looks too much like the original. Let's try the... Sipto. Okay. Kind of cool. Honestly, I think I like the, uh, at least in terms of just uniqueness and difference from the normal one. I still think this one's the coolest looking. Very cool. 
That's that actually would make a great screenshot, wouldn't it? Um, we gotta get. Let's see what emote do we want? <laughs> That's pretty close. All right, that'll be our new screenshot. So can we make the? Yeah. Okay. There we go. So, you know what? We we gotta we gotta try this at least once, right? Before I let you guys go. Use it. Uh, right click to use. Okay, so, um, open inventory, right click to use, trigger, wait a minute, is that close enough? Oh shit. What? <laughs> That's all you did? Seriously? Oh. Oh, hey, we made it. That's all we needed to do. Oh, wow. Look at this, you guys. The Red Falls biome. Oh, wow. With blood water. Okay. Oh, wow. And it goes all the way back in there, too. Oh, maybe that's where the new uh, procedural wrecks are in this new biome. That would kind of make sense. All right, you know what? We're going to have to explore this in the next episode because we are s super out of time here. But hey, we made it inside. That's awesome. Plus, it's really dark right now, too, so we probably want it to be lighter outside when we do this. I Well, at least I think it is. Is it nighttime? It's really dark in there if it isn't. Yeah, no, it's nighttime. Okay, so, yeah. Plan for next episode. We'll come and explore the uh, Red Falls biome for the first part of the episode. And then the second part, we will begin building our home. Looking forward to it. Should be fun. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.